Nothing tastes quite the same as Sweet Redemption, a flavor the number nine Pirates had long been craving since losing to Old Dominion at the start of the season. But 23 games later, ECU was more than ready for the Monarchs. As both squads got off to a hot 4-4 start through two innings until the defense picked up like this 4-6-3 double play. Great swing to first, you betcha textbook. And these fans just couldn't stop talking about it, yammering away. And how about Ethan Norby? All didn't go well for the rookie in round one Virginia this time money still tied this little girl getting into it and then the DH Ryan McChrystal pulls this shot into deep left center field and here comes JJC Jacob Jenkins Coward unhooking the trailer and hauling to take back the lead and fire up this stadium ECU would never look back from that point on for a 7-5 dub and Ethan Norby gets his second win Pirates third straight dub in a row. All right, let's head on down just the road. The Battle of Highway 11 between Pitt CC and Lenore CC, where former North Pitt stud Dawson Abels was shoving from the bump. Do not blink. You might miss a strikeout from the sophomore. Sheesh. But despite a 2-0 deficit, here come the Bulldogs and their boys in the dugout who beat the Lancers 14-4 just six days ago as Ryland Smith gets Pitt on the board with a shot. And then it became my Minor errors from the Lancers that held up their comeback from check this out just a routine ground ball throw to first no that's way over that might be a bird or a plane to wild pitches and the Bulldogs would just run away with this one 12 to 7 for a 2-0 season lead on Lenore don't worry they still have three more games to face each other with this season. All right, let's go to the minor league level. Wood Ducks off to a 4-0 start in Zebulon against the Mudcats. A back and forth game that started with a 1-1 tie. Then at 4-4, Carolina's Cooper Pratt snaps the tie again. Another missed throw this time by the Woodies and the Mudcats would go up 7-4 despite a late night then and come back with two runs scored by the Woodies. Down East falls 7-6 for their first loss of the year. All right, we still got a busy week of college baseball ahead in a few days, starting on Friday through Sunday. Number 13, UNC hosting Notre Dame. Seventh-ranked Duke at Pittsburgh. NC State off five straight losses at number two, Clemson. UNC Wilmington at Towson. And Campbell in Bowie's Creek hanging with Stony Brook. And, of course, ECU continuing their five-game week, hosting Charlotte at 6 o'clock. And sticking with the Pirates, ECU football has been hard at work for spring practice the past two weeks with some familiar and some new faces on the roster, including two transfer QBs with Jake Garcia and Caden Hauser battling for a starting spot. With the team gearing up for their annual Purple Gold scrimmage this Saturday, Mike Houston is hoping the fans take away one thought with them following the game. It's been a, a very, very good spring. I told the kids out there, I said, I said, the thing I'm most excited about for Saturday is I want our fan base to be able to see what I'm so excited about. 11 a.m. start time for the scrimmage on Saturday. And wrapping things up on the hardwood floors, how about the Hornets having a crazy finish in Atlanta tonight? Charlotte trailed by 15 going into the fourth quarter, down by one with just seconds remaining on the clock. Miles Bridges as Eric Collins would say hum diddly D, and Charlotte wins with 38 points in the final quarter to reach 20 wins on the season. 